Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP, Gabriel Samadhi. Tonight, uh, I'm just doing like a off, off the cuff talk. And uh, I figure maybe you, tired, you may be tired of just simply staring at my little folder that I keep poems in. So I busted out a book. I got, you know, book collection. This one, uh, Eyewitness Time Magazine, 150 Years of Photojournalism. A lot of good pictures in here. A lot of them are sad, though. Notice that. There's not enough happy pictures. <laughs> All the most a lot of the most profound pictures in photojournalism history are sad ones. I tried to land on one that's not... I don't know, this one spoke to me, of course. I mean, look at it. It's amazing. Uh, this one's pretty cool, too. Mm, what's going on with this? Anyway, back to what I was going to talk about in this video. You know... In college, I really bounced around trying to decide what I wanted to do, you know? And I'm kind of a jack-of-all-trades and expert of none in a lot of respects in, in, in some things. However, there are a couple things that I, I would consider myself an expert in. But that's not important. Um, the jack-of-all-trades thing, I have a lot of passions, you know, and it was really hard for me to decide on one. Um, I decided on sociology. Ultimately, I considered psychology. At one point, it was psychology, filmmaking, social work. I probably, anyway, I changed my major a bunch of times. But I, I got almost. You know, I, I have had extensive cross training in various fields. That's the point. I had a degree in sociology. I was wholly fascinated with sociology. Now, as I, you know, as a sociologist, I'm always observing social trends and norms. Now, I'm no grand sociologist. I am a sociologist, but I'm a novice at best. Yeah, I'm a novice at best. I'm a sociologist that's finding his legs. You know what I mean? Anyway. I'm always observing these cultural, social, social things. One of the things I notice distinctly is liberals always are excited by the idea of big cities. When I tell people I lived in New York City, all the conservatives are like, oh, wasn't it scary? How could you stand it? And all the liberals were like, oh, it must have been amazing. <laughs> one is ruled by awe, and, and, and one is ruled by fear. One are creators, the others cannot create, and they fear what they don't understand. Uh, New York City has a, more than a very low crime rate per capita now. It ain't like the fucking 80s anymore. Where I live has a about a five times higher crime rate than... Actually, even higher than that. Crime rate where I live in this stupid-ass South is pretty high. Um... Because ignorant people are quick to do violence. And the whole fucking South is wrapped up in that whole goddamn fucking Civil War bullshit. Which is over hundreds of fucking years ago. Or however, hundred. I don't want to think, I don't know, 1863, 1860, whatever, however long ago that shit was. I hate math. I have, a, I have a real sensitive spot for the Civil War. I mean, people who may have known from seeing some of my other videos may know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> um, 
Diversity is beautiful. But somehow, the conservative mind finds it frightening. I loved living in Brooklyn. It was, I, no matter how depressed I was, I could just simply walk outside and walk two or three blocks down the street. And I was filled with awe and the beauty because you could walk five blocks down Brooklyn and see virtually almost every culture in the world. Because every... <sighs> but that just scares the shit out of Republicans. To me, it's like a treasure chest of just gorgeous, beautiful, priceless gems. That I can just marvel at. All these wonderful, fascinating, just mysterious and exotic things. You can go and eat any kind of food you want in New York. You could, you know, you got the bodegas on the corner. You got the... It makes the rest of our country look like a fucking cookie cutter goddamn negative utopia, which is pretty much what it is. And even, you know, we got a long goddamn way to go as a human race. As societies, we're like a cunt hair above cavemen. For real. We're still wrestling with all this primitive ass lizard brain shit. All this fight or flight, ego driven shit, all this male testosterone driven dick fear bullshit. You're afraid somebody has a bigger dick or is tougher than you or is gonna, uh, you know, be more attractive to the chicks. Uh, you know, all this competitive horse shit. You know what Buddha said? Buddha said, the winner sows hatred because the loser suffers. So, you know, uh, and we're all one anyway. We're all one consciousness. And we're all just little facets. We're all one big collective. You hurt somebody else, you're only hurting yourself. You're going to feel that eventually. As I've said before. It's like an Ouroboros destiny. Just won't let itself go. Cat, like a, like a fucking dog chasing its tail. Stop living in fear. That's my message. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear, then you can let go of all the other horrible shit. If you live in fear, you water the roots of suffering. So, you gotta nip it in the bud, as Barney Fife says. <laughs> you fucking boomers will get that reference. <laughs>